hey girl, hey, we're in the middle of March. Who's excited? Who's doing the most this month? We are. It is awesome, you guys. I'm so freaking stoked for everything that's happening with this team and the momentum that we have is um, unlike any month we've ever had. We are already at almost halfway to purple. And we, and I want to say we, because you guys are killing it. We almost have an entire 10, top 10 in the thousand dollar club. That is money in your guys's pockets. That is you guys getting the sales, pushing the kudos, working for that selfie ring light. Uh, I mean, a top 10 in the, in the thousand dollar club is something that's been on my vision board since we had a top 10 in the 500. Like I, my first goal was 500 in the top 10 club, uh, top 10 in the $500 club. And now we're already pushing for a top 10 in the thousand dollar club. And that is just wonderful to watch you guys succeed and do amazing things. So I'm super excited for all of the success that's about to happen in the second half of the month. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about flash sales and trunk sales because as we push to the second half of the month, this is where we start to kind of have to get creative with sales. We've probably already hit up a few, like most of our regulars for the kudos. So now how do we do a trunk sale? What is a flash sale? How do we get creative with the products that we have available to us? so that we can still keep pushing and keep grinding it out through the last day of the month. And my favorite thing to do um, once a quarter, once every three months or so, is do a trunk sale. Now I have a big trunk, it is like a caboodle on crack. I don't know if you guys ever used to have caboodles, like way back in the day, they were the jam, like they were amazing, okay? It's like a caboodle on steroids. It's it's huge, okay? It holds over a thousand dollars worth of product easily. We maybe even more than that, depending on if you're good at organizing. So I constantly am buying a little extra here, buying a little extra there, and then just throwing it in my trunk so that once every three or four months, I do this trunk sale. Now, you don't have to have a trunk to have a trunk sale. You could just, you know, do a stash sale. You could call it a trunk sale. And you can call it whatever you want, but essentially you're, you're discounting your personal inventory, whatever you have in stash, to move it quickly. And then you restock. Right, so that's how you get the sales. You push all of your products out as fast as you can in like one little event. I usually do mine about one hour or two hours on a Sunday night. I'll do a flash sale. I'll go through everything I have in my trunk. I will show it to the people that are watching live. I'll say, oh look, this is, you know, our old setting spray, and this is how you would use it. Smith, miss, 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 blah, 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 right? Or, oh, look at this amazing lip color, and I'm swatching down my arm, and I'm drawing all over myself, and by the end, I look like I've gone through a makeup war zone because my arms are all tatted up with all of the different swatches from the colors that I've showed everybody. And I almost always, Riley, the smallest. Um, trunk sale I ever did was $700 in one night. The biggest I ever did was $1,800 in one night, just in a couple of hours. Okay. So, um, what you do then is you take, you send out all those PayPal invoices, you get the money and then you take that PayPal money. And instead of just enjoying it, you reinvest back into your business. And that's how you get those big jumbo, end of month PRS pushes. Okay. So I want to talk about how to stock your trunk. If you're, if you don't have a trunk or you're new and you're still trying to build some inventory, you can buy the collections. That's a, a good way to start adding some inventory. You can, if right. somebody buys, um, if cool. you have two customers that want the splash liquid lipstick, buy the collection of three, and that way you can have that third one on hand in a, in a very neutral color, stellar, successful, snarky, one of those like very neutral kind of colors. They're really easy to push out. Um, one of the things I want to offer to you guys is um, I have 42 half price items and those are getting ready to go away. I won't be able to use them once they're gone. What I like to do is use my half price items and buy a couple of collections to stock my trunk.
Now, I'm not going to be able to use all 42 of them by the time they expire. So if there's anybody that would like to do a trunk sale at the end of the, like at, 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 near the end of the month, let me know. We can use one of my half prices to get you a, ha a collection. Then you sell those items in your trunk sale. You can mark them down 20% and they're still getting a really good deal, you're making money, you're getting all of the money back that you paid for the collection plus some, and you take all of that and you buy back more product for your, for your truck, okay? So if anybody's interested in getting a collection for half price so that you can do a trunk sale, let me know. This is a great way to push at the end of the month if you're looking for a promotion, if you're pushing for pink, if you're pushing for blue, those trunk sales are where magic happens. People love that stuff. And the thing about it is that it is a magic bullet, I, or a silver bullet rather. Is there such a thing as a magic bullet? I don't know, silver bullet. It's like special. Um, I don't do them all the time because I don't want people to get like conditioned to thinking that the only time that they buy products is when they're on sale. So I only do it every three or four months and I make a big deal out of it. I announce it a couple of days ahead. I create an event around it so that they know. I message everybody in my VIP group and I let them know that they have a code word, like whatever the special code word is. And if you are a VIP member, then you're going to get a discount. Um, and then I just sell it on my main page. I don't talk price. I don't talk discounts. I don't talk sale prices on my main wall. I say, if you're in my VIP group, you know what the deal is. You know the specials that are going on. If you're not in my VIP group, you should message me. Right, you should request to go to my VIP group right now and get in on the goodness. I always get a lot more people in my VIP group that way because they want to see what the discount is. So it's a double whammy, right? It's a twofer. You're building up your VIP. You're getting more sales. You're getting, even if you have to sell everything in your trunk for 20% off, remember now you bought all those collections, which are usually around 30% off retail anyway. And then if you're using any of my half offs, then you're definitely making a huge swing of profit for that. Um, so now I want to talk about the details. When you do your trunk sale, it's important that you have a system in place to stay organized because you don't want to go back after the fact and be like, oh, who bought what and what did they have? So I like to usually get somebody else to help me because my, my trunk sales are a feeding frenzy. They are bananas. I, 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 sometimes I can't even keep up with everybody. And so I, I bribe my husband, you know, happy wife, happy life kind of stuff. And I get him to, to play secretary while I'm doing my flash sale or while I'm doing my trunk sale. And he will keep track of the comments and he'll say, oh, Leslie wants this and Tina wants that. And he's writing it down so that afterwards I can go through and break it all up. Okay? Then one of the things that I do as part of that is I take paper uh, you can either take notebook paper or you can take um, uh, just plain white paper. I just have plain copy paper. Let me see if I can, um, can you guys see my face real big now? Did I fix it so that I'm like the main feature? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or is it still a bunch of small heads? You're in the middle. I'm in the middle. Okay. All right. In the middle. Now we got to mute everybody so that I get to be the featured speaker. Nobody talk. Okay, now it recognizes that I'm the talker. Okay, so what I do is I take a, a piece of paper, I cut it into four squares. I put the person's name, what they ordered, and then invoiced, paid, shipped. So that's how I know what stage they're in. Invoice, paid, shipped, okay? And then when I'm packing up the orders, I just take all of the pieces of paper and I spread them out and I just start stacking the products on there so that I can start shipping them out. Okay. So this is, this is how I know it'll say invoice paid shipped. That's how I know kind of like my little system for, uh, figuring out orders. Okay. Um, and as you can see, this is from my November flash sale. I feel like, 
one of those like bougie like direct sales things where they're trying to show you all their hundred dollar bills and it like look look at my system it works it really does this is all my orders from my november flash sale i had over 50 orders okay so um i'm not promising that that will be your results but what i am saying is that trunk sales and flash sales can be a good boost and surge in your business especially if you're running for a promotion it doesn't hurt to try it okay um, but the thing is you do have to have a little bit of stock in order to make it happen right so because i like to actually hold up and say oh look i've got three of these the first three people to comment you get it right um, another thing that i do is i let people add on as part of the flash sale so like whenever people say i'll take that and i'll take that i message them and i'll say i have those two items in stock was there anything else that you needed at the discount and i still give them the discount and let's just say they wanted a mascara and they wanted a liner okay girl it's just going to take a little bit longer for me to ship that out to you but i'm still going to honor the discount because you participated in the flash sale so then i invoice them for everything i bulk order all the add-ons right all the upsells for each of each person that buys from me can add on anything from the website at 20 percent off i just explained to them that it's going to take a little bit longer so now they're incentivized and now they know that they're going to have to wait a little bit longer and it's totally fine. Right. And I can usually pull in another couple of hundred dollars in miscellaneous things that I didn't even have to have in my trunk. Does that make sense? You guys like it, it, it why not upsell them as much as you possibly can, you know, or say, or you can, if, if you're feeling like you know your customer really well, I had this lovable lip gloss that didn't get sold, girl, and this has your name all over it. It would be the perfect color for you. Don't be afraid to go in for the upsell. They're already committed. They've already said yes. Why not suggest something or offer them an expansion on what they've committed? Don't be shy about that. People are used to being pulled to and offered, but wait, there's more kind of deals okay so don't be afraid to offer them a little extra on top of what they've already asked for that's i mean the answer is going to definitely be no if you don't ask so at least give them a chance and if they say no no harm no foul move along go on to something else but at least you gave them a chance to say yes okay um so that's one of my other little tips that i do i also get these little bubble mailers they have come in a bunch of different sizes um, I find that the six by nine size is, you can, you can get a couple of products in this sized package. Um, but I have them in, in several different sizes, four by six, six by nine and the eight by whatever, 12 or whatever it is, so like the big ones too. Um, and then I do, I print out labels from shipping express or, uh, free shipping.com. No, what's it called? PayPal? Shippingeasy.com. Shippingeasy.com. So it can sync to your PayPal and it creates the labels and it is uh, about 30 to 50 cents cheaper per package than it is if you just took everything to the post office and let them do it. So you just got to buy these stickers and you just stick it on there. And what I like about that is that because you did it on your own website your own account on the website you can look up all of your orders at once you don't have to find the receipt for the one order for the person that you sent something to in wisconsin and figure out which receipt has their order on it and then manually enter in that tracking number if you do them all like this then you can pull them up on your um, shipping easy account and see all of the tracking numbers in one place. So you can kind of like work a little smarter and not quite so hard. All right. So those are some of my tricks to running a successful trunk sale. Dimples. Do we have questions about that before I go on? So how does that help with PRS? So it helps PRS because you're going to sell everything that you have in your stock and then you're going to reorder it. 
So okay. you don't have to reorder that specific product or that specific item. But let's say you have like three mascaras in your stash. You'd want to order some more mascaras, right? Because you don't want to be yeah. completely empty handed. So you, that's a, um, a big, a big thing, Tina, that I wanted to mention is that you don't want to have your, your trunk sale on the very last day of the month because it's going to take people a cup like you might have a couple stragglers that can't pay you that night they might not pay you till sunday like say or if your flash sales on sunday they might not pay you till tuesday so you want to give yourself a little bit of a buffer so that you have time to get those orders through so that you can reorder in march instead of having to wait until april i have another question yes okay so do you have a list of what you uh, numbers of what you keep in your trunk for that very thing no, I just, cause I just, it's like a hodgepodge. Like sometimes, like if I just have a couple of miscellaneous orders and all three of those things are in a collection, I'll just order the collection and just take the extra things and toss them in the thing, in my truck. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like I don't yep. really, I don't really have like a set thing. I, I know I always have black liners. I know I always have mascara. I have some other, th like when products are like on kudos i'll buy like the kudos and throw them in there um lot, like okay. little things like that so i just slowly co collect a variety and when it mm -hmm. starts to like bulge up and feel too tall like too big i'm like we got to get rid of this okay or when i'm going for a promotion then i'm like fire sale everything must go you will Thank not you. find a deal better than this anywhere else is that good Yes, that okay. was good. Good. Who else was next? Holly, did you have a question? Somebody was going to ask something I heard. Me. <laughs> I just wanted to chime in. Um, when I was running for pink back in October, I did do like one of the trunk sales. Um, well, I did like an inventory clean out since I didn't have, I didn't have a trunk. So I save all of my boxes from my own products um, because I did I don't have a lot of on hand stock. So what I did, I save all my boxes and um, I'll use the boxes for that, that sale. So like I'll just beforehand go on the website, make sure everything that I have is in stock. And then I'll just kind of like you're pretending you have it on hand, but you really don't. You're just showing the, the box. So that helped me too, if I didn't have something on hand. And what you mean by box is the actual packaging, not the white unique box that everything comes in. Yeah. But you would save this actual box. Yep. Yeah. And and then, she, so this technically, they don't realize that this is empty, but then she's mm -hmm. like, oh, I have two of these first yeah. come first serve and she's holding up a box. So nobody really knows that it's empty inside. So that's kind of another way to do it. And another thing to add on to that is um, the best times to do a trunk sale is when they have free shipping because you don't actually have to sell anything out of your trunk. If it's free shipping, you just order it for them online and have it shipped straight to their house and just gobble up a little bit of your commission or your Y cash to cover the 20% off discount. So you can keep everything you have in your trunk and just place all those orders straight through your website. When free shipping is happening, mama ain't playing. I'm going to have a three or $4,000 month every single time. So that's a, that's a good one too. That's a good little tip to remember when that comes around. How often does that happen? Like twice a year, maybe they don't do it a lot. They don't do it a lot. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about is um, there's going to be a couple of new things rolling out for the team. Um, I've mentioned it to a couple of girls already. I'm going to start doing a Glam Squad shout out or a Glam Squad spotlight where every week I'm going to just spotlight somebody on the team. It's going to be kind of just like your chance to like shine a little bit, talk about your insecurities, why you ended up signing up with Unique, how you're growing, how you're succeeding. It's going to be a way for you to really like show your customers that you're doing something amazing and that you're being recognized for your effort. So now you're edifying your, but we, I am edifying you to your fan base, right? Because they're seeing you get this shout out from me. It's showing my potential recruits 
one that I'm a lover and that I like to give my girls a shout out, but also planting seeds because they're going to say, oh, look, Tina's a little bit more mature and I've been not signing up because I wasn't young. I didn't think I was young enough. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be like this great way of multi, like hitting a lot of buttons at the same time, but it's going to be the glam squad spotlight. And I'm just going to go every week. I'm going to spotlight a different presenter and, and give you guys a little love. Um, another thing that we're going to start doing is 10 minute trainings. Um, they're going to be 10 minute videos that I'm going to post in the glam squad and on our YouTube page. We'll always have our Thursday night call, which is obviously a little bit longer than 10 minutes, but throughout the week, as you're very busy and you know, you may not have a whole lot of time to get in some training or to figure out what to do. I'm going to try to do two a week, 10 minute trainings, and they might be alive and they might be just an actual pre-recorded video, but it's going to be a variety of different business topics. So if there's anything that you guys specifically want to have a 10 minute training on that you think will help your teams or even you grow better, faster, stronger, just let me know because at some point I'm going to run out of things to talk about. So those are two new and upcoming things that uh, I have in store for the team. I I'm excited about them. I think it's gonna, both of those things are geared towards um, helping us be more successful and get more wins. Good. All right, friends. I mean, that wasn't bad. That was like 25 minutes, 20, 23 minutes. Do we have any other questions? Okay, so for those of you that are tracking and that are in equally invested in this purple status thing that we're doing together, uh, we are 45% of the way there. In order to stay on track, we have to sell 20 kudos tomorrow or equivalent, which we can do. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 of us on here right now. So if each of us sell one, then that, that's going to be great, right? Oh, and oh yeah, to finish up the training for the uh, makeup class, tomorrow is the last day to, for them to get their kudos in order to get their exclusive invite. So we could, we could easily sell 20. If we, were, if we go back through to all of your customers that were maybes, to all your customers that had to think about it, to all of your customers that couldn't do it till Friday when they get paid, now's the time because tomorrow is the last day to get that invite for this three-day makeup class. And there's over $200 in giveaways, so make sure you stress that to them. We're going to be teaching you how to use these products, teaching you what they're for, and rewarding you for showing up. Marie, yes. explain to me again how that works. What, I know that there's three of you that are doing the classes, but so so we invite whoever is buying the kudos mm -hmm. from us by tomorrow, then they are invited to attend these three sessions. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's basically our way of spoiling them and educating them for buying some, for buying the kudos. So uh, we'll teach them about the foundation, how to use it, what, what's the point of primer, um, how to use the concealer. The, this is the first night. Um, the, the, we'll talk about the difference between setting spray and setting powder, why you would use different, the, the two different ones and for what. And that's the first night live and Amber will do that one. And Amber has a little giveaway to give out that night. The next night, Holly will come on. That's uh, that Amber's Sunday night. Holly comes on Monday night and Holly's going to talk about the sticks, the kabuki brush and how to use the sticks to contour. Did you like that color, Holly? Did you think that'll work? Yeah, it was, it wasn't right for me either. Um, but we ordered the next shade down from what you, the other dark one that you got. Yeah, I got suede, and I think that one's going to be good for me. I got the next one down from suede. It's on its way. Okay. Um, so Holly's going to teach them how to contour and how to use the sticks, how the difference between the liquid touch and the stick, and, you know, kind of talk about the differences of the foundation is what I'm hoping. And Holly also has a giveaway. And then the grand finale will be Tuesday night with me and I'll be going over the Wink and Roar collection, what comes in it, how to complete their full face with the Wink and Roar because they've already bought the kudos, right? Which is their base face. The Wink and Roar comes with 
um, things to enhance your base face. Like it's got a splurge cream shadow, brow liner, things like that. And so I'm going to give one of those away. But the idea is that I'm going to inspire these customers to want the Wink and Roar collection. Does that make sense? So this, this is us spoiling them. This is us giving back to them, but this is also giving us a chance to get in front of them again with some products that maybe we weren't showing them before and giving them new perspective on how to use it so that now they want to buy it. All right, and what is the date for that again? I'm the 23rd, whatever, hold on, let me look it up. 24th, 25th, 26th. 24th, oh, okay. yep, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And what time? 8 p.m. Eastern. Eastern, okay. All right. And I think it'll be great if everyone that has customers in there is on the live. Like we want yeah. to make some uh, like excitement, ask questions, say hi to the girls that you invited, your customers, maybe even send them a reminder like an hour before. Don't forget to come onto the live. You know, there's going to be so much amazing stuff there, you know, that kind of stuff. We've already got almost fi over 50 people in that event, and I know some of them are us, but that's still a lot of customers to get in front of. It's still a lot of us that can have some sales from this. So um, that's, the, that's the last of it. Get to those customers tomorrow. Try to push those kudos to get them into the group. Stress FOMO. Girl, you don't want to miss out because it's about to be bananas, okay? Let them know it's going to be exciting. Um, and then I have one more question. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm sorry. I know I've seen y'all's, y'all's post and stuff with your pictures and all that kind of stuff. Is that what we use to do that or just invite them? <laughs> yeah. You could, what I would do is go back to every customer that ordered the kudos and say, oh my gosh, there's this amazing event. They're going to, it's going to be a training about the kudos. Would you like an exclusive invite? You earned it because you bought the kudos. Okay. So go back to all your customers that already bought it and let them know that you want to spoil them. Let me add okay. you to this event. To anybody that's on the fence, you're going to say, I just found out we're doing this master makeup class with three awesome people from my team. You're, I think it'll be really valuable for you since you were on the fence to learn how to use this stuff that you were thinking about getting. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and sign up today? All right. Cool. Yep. Kimber, it is not that cold out. I'm up in my, one of my bedrooms, and this room is always so cold, no matter yeah. what. <laughs> I'm always cold anyway. Yeah, me too. I just turned my heater off. All right, you guys. Does anybody else have any more questions before we get off here? All right, as always, I hope you found this content valuable. Let me know if you have any questions offline. You know where to find me. I love you all so very much. Go out there and do something amazing. All right. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.